Hello everybody, it's Pavo. Welcome back to Zoo Crafting. So there's a few things that I want to work on today. I'm going to get straight into them. The first thing is that I'm going to name the Yorkies that we found the other day with some amazing names. So I need to grab some name tags. We have them here. I think I think we have four. Is it five Yorkies? I'm not sure. I think we have four. So we also need to grab some essence berries as well. And they are kept up here in our little conservatory 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 um, we need 20 levels and now we can go ahead and name them I think this anvil is gonna break because it looks pretty tatty at the moment so the first name is Darcy and I think that suits a Yorkshire Terrier very well the second name is going to be Jock. That was suggested because one of the dogs. Oh no, it broke. One of the dogs in Lady and the Tramp is actually called Jock. And it's been a while since I've seen that movie. But we need to make a new anvil. Do I have normal iron ingots? I'll have to make some. So here we are. We have the iron ingots and I keep getting them mixed up with the marble here we are a new anvil and we can put this down about where it was and we can carry on naming so we've got Darcy, we've got Jock named after the dog from Lady and the Tramp we also have Bonnie and Becky and those were the names of two twin Yorkies that one of my commenters grandmas had and they were inseparable so I thought it would be best to choose both the names and we can name those together we can keep them all together so that's what we're going to do Bonnie and Becky and I think that's all four of them so we're going to go name them hopefully they're still with the Mimijis uh, we'll just come out here and you may notice that my phoenix is actually in the tree there and that was because I was flying him and I accidentally pressed shift and when you press shift when you're on the phoenix you fall off him so it's going to be quite difficult to get back to the top of the tree but hopefully he's safe up there and he's not in the pond so that's okay where are we going we're going in here down into the Mimiji mansion where where are the dogs I can hear them where are they I hear them. Perhaps they're upstairs. Oh, here's one. Which, what, what should I call you? I think you're going to be called, you'll be called Becky. And let's see if I can find the others. Hopefully they haven't despawned. Uh, I don't know where they are. I hope they're not like in these crops anywhere. I can hear them though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here, here's one. And you could be called Bonnie. Where are the others? It's hard to find them in this grass. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack. Oh my gosh, where, where are the dogs? Oh, there's one. And you can be called Darcy. You could be Darcy. And now we've just got to find the, the fourth one, Jock. Oh my goodness, they're playing hide and seek. Where are they? I don't see them. I don't see it. I can hear them all. Not in with the chi- oh, no that's Bonnie. <laughs> I was going to say, not in with the chickens are they? Maybe the other one is down here somewhere. So... I'm not sure. Mimijis, have you seen the dogs? No? I've lost a Yorkie. I can hear one. Is it? Is, are those the ones that are upstairs that are making that noise? I think I might have to make a few safari nets or get them to sit or something. Uh, yeah, so th this is Becky and Bonnie. Bonnie and Becky. 
they're together already. Go on, go down. Darcy, where's, where's the other? I'm sure we had four. I'm sure we did. <laughs> but hey, we have, the, we have the Yorkshire Terriers. Okay, so I'm going to actually... Do I have a chest on me? I don't think I do. No, but I will put this name tag inside on the shelf in my kitchen and when we can find the other Yorkshire Terrier, I don't know where he's gone, that's the name that we can give him. And I actually want to make a few little Da Vincing kennels, I think that would be something interesting to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the spruce wood and I'm also going to use some cherry wood as the little roof. And do we have any dark? We have some dark wood, that's that's good. And I'm just going to clear my inventory a second. I'm going to put everything away, all these materials that we're going to use on the dolphin exhibit a bit later. Uh, the buckets and the essence berries. We, have, we need this blueberry juice. And we just picked up this ginger from the garden. And we can put that away. We have so much ginger, I didn't realise. What can we make with this ginger? Uh, some sort of sushi, some gingerbread, ginger chicken, ginger rhubarb tart, ginger snaps, more ginger chicken, ginger ale, I love ginger ale, candy ginger, ginger seed and ginger. And I'm actually thinking of changing the farm and replacing all the crops with cotton because I can turn the cotton into string and we always need string. We don't have any in here but we always need some to make many different things, especially temporary safari nets or single use safari nets as they're called and yeah so we're gonna see if we can build a little dog kennel for our Yorkshire Terriers I'm just gonna hop in bed very quickly because I don't want any zombies spawning on me I've had enough of that recently okay and we'll head out and we'll close the door behind us and we'll come out here I'll close this door too and we'll place this down and we need to get the sh no it's not the shaver we need it's the saw where is that this one here um, I'm gonna turn this cherry wood into planks and I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna put the dark oak on there as well and I'm just gonna re re rearrange this a second okay so we need okay so we've done this and let's see how are we going to make this I want to really put the kennel here where this little teleporter is I think that that would be a good place or maybe actually in the farms because the the dogs sort of do belong to the Mimijis at the moment so I'm not sure but let's just build this kennel first uh, if it lets me because sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't like me placing the the vincing blocks we've had this issue before and you have to place them down. You have to place a regular block down and then it, it lets you put them down. Like that. Okay, so that's going to be the base. I think this is maybe a tab too big. Uh, let's see. Let's do it there like that. And we can do the same over here. So what, what gap have we got here? We've got about three mini blocks. We've got one. So not... Why is this not working now? One, two... Three, I think there. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna do the same here. If it lets me, yeah, like that. And I'm gonna grab this, the shaver, and I will just shave off the sides here and here, like this. And I'm also going to get the, the saw and just knock this back a couple of blocks just to make it a bit squarer like that. And then I'm going to start building up the sides here like this. And there wasn't a video yesterday by the way because I spent like six, five or six hours building a building here on the server and I'm not going to show it to you quite yet because it's it's not quite finished but 
I was sort of a bit mentally exhausted and I ran out of ideas and things to do so I just decided not to record a video and instead there was one today well there were always was going to be one today but you know what I mean okay so this is the little front part oh my gosh butterfly okay like that and then we can put these side bits up like that and where is my regular dancing chisel here it is and we'll just get rid of that and that and this and that as well and I think the hole at the front is a bit too small so I'm just going to make it into a little arch that's very easily done and now we can start adding the little slopey bit that you'd expect to find on a kennel so how, how am I going to do this slope? Uh, I think that's going to be a bit steep so let's see I'm going to see if this works I think it will and we can do that yeah that looks okay so we'll do the same at the back here if I can duplicate it and up here as well yep and then I'll grab the shaver and I will shave off some of this cherry wood because I think this is perfect for the roof of the little kennel I'm not sure how much I need but I'm going to get a lot of it and then we'll just put it down like this and like this and this one as well if it lets me do it and this top part and here and here and there like that and I'm also going to do just this little bit here maybe a bit more oh gosh so close so close just need two more two more strips no actually I need four more don't I where'd it go and we'll place that down like that like this and final touches I'm just gonna knock this back a bit and the same at the back here there and what do you think it's a nice little kennel I think maybe the arch is a bit high I can fix that very very easily uh, just by doing this yeah I actually want to add a, a bit more detail on the front so I'm going to chisel a bit of this off a bit of the dark oak wood and I'm going to make it like a little bone on the front uh, how would I go about doing that like this maybe Oh, that's not central. Um, maybe like that. Yeah, that looks okay. And that is how you build a little Da Vinci dog kennel. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I'm going to put a few of those inside. Maybe where this teleporter is. Maybe actually in this farm. Because I don't think we're going to be needing any wheat for a while. So I think it's okay if we stop the farm. And I hope the the Yorkshire Terriers will enjoy their little kennel. So maybe I'll clear out the farm. Maybe. Maybe. I'll see what what time we have left after we have done what we want to do at the dolphin area. Wait, is this is this the missing dog? Are these the missing dogs? Is this are they all stuck behind here? Uh, I, I'm gonna. Okay, let's pop 
Trin there. Let's grab these chickens. Oh, I can't reach them. Oh no. There are two dogs. Oh, this one's Bonnie. Is this an unnamed dog or is this Becky? Oh, it's the unnamed one. Okay, so this is Jock. Jock was stuck behind the the chest, the chest sorting system. So we'll grab the name tag. I'm glad that we found this one. I thought I thought I was imagining things. I thought I imagined getting four dogs yesterday. But yeah, we have Jock now, and Jock can go back in the in the garden. Uh, let's pop them down there. And if you notice, my garden is actually free of peafowl now. Completely free of peafowl. Oh, maybe not. Still got, still got one over here. A lone peahen. And yeah, that is once again because they get stuck behind the bushes over here. And oh my goodness, just look, they're having like some sort of peacock party. But let's just put this away. I need to eat some food. And what else do I need to get? I think Katrina has no sugar on her. No, she doesn't. So I'm going to go grab some sugar. And then that leads me on to the turtles over at the coastal area. So come on, Katrina, we'll get you some sugar. Our little pond over here that we've ne neglected for quite a while. It's also got some rice, though. I haven't harvested that in ages. But to be honest, I haven't harvested the sugar in ages either. Uh, what's she looking at? She's looking at something. Oh, sugar, okay. Uh, so we'll turn half of this into sugar. And we'll give that to Katrina. Uh, we'll put it here. We need to empty her inventory. Oh my goodness. Was she? Oh my goodness, I didn't realize. Did she eat all of that sugar? Oh no, she didn't. But she was just doing it to regain health, I think. Uh, so yeah, come on Katrina, we'll head over to the coastal area. I think I may have to sleep because it looks like it's becoming night time. I don't actually carry a bed on me anymore, but I should really get around to doing that again. Oops, can't operate doors. So down we go. Where is my wool? I always thought, oh I do have a carpenter's bed. I have two, okay, so I only need one. And I'll take that with us and I will actually put a few of these devincing blocks away. This is like my devincing chest. And something else that I wanted to show you was that I found a really pretty area on the server and I was tempted to move my house there though could you imagine all the trouble and effort that would take oh gosh didn't mean to do that didn't mean to do that let's repair this no it's not what to do I always do this okay I need my carpenter's hammer now okay oh I had, had one there okay Wait, did Katrina just get stuck on a chair? I think she might have done. She did. And I've got to be careful because sometimes that causes crashes when I log off the server and Katrina is stuck in a chair. No idea why. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to show you this area very quickly and then we are going to work on the coastal area. Um, where is it? It's called Pavo's, or Pavo's Orchard and the teleporter is a phoenix and it looks so pretty look at it it's it's so colorful and bright and it's full of wildlife and what is this is this a peach it's a peach and i was thinking of turning this little very shallow lake it's only like one block deep into grass and let's open journey map in a second and like my house would fit on that perfectly and it's just such a pretty place and it's quite far, quite far from where we currently are. Um, where are we? We're down here, and this place is up here. The only problem is that I I do like the house where it is at the moment, and I think if we do move it, 
then it's going to look a bit odd. I'm not sure what we would have there, but I don't know. I'd like to get like your thoughts on it, or maybe I should just build a completely new house. And maybe if I do do that, do do. Maybe if I do that, I might do a time lapse of it. Not sure. I'm really not sure. I, I can't can't choose myself. But I think this is a lovely place to build something. It's just so pretty. And we will head to the coastal area now. Coastal area, and no, it's not on the here at all, is it? It's actually, I need to go back to my place. And then I need to use the zoo teleporter, our pelican friend over here, to get to the coastal zone. And then I teleport and it decides to crash, so sorry about that. Okay, so we have our turtle friends in here. Let's just build a little block to hop on over. And some people in the comments said that you tame them by giving them sugar cane. And I tried that and it didn't work. So let's just show off. I have named them in fact, Shelly and Kurt. So I'm just going to grab these with the Safari Net Launcher. Because I still can't right click them. And we'll hop out here. And I will show you what happens when I give them sugarcane. So right clicking them with the sugarcane does nothing and it just flips them over. And then I read the Mo Creatures wiki and it says that you drop the sugarcane on them. And still nothing happens. And I tried the same with melons as well. And it doesn't seem to do anything. Like, I don't, don't understand. Do you need more? They just don't seem to want to do anything. So, oh, <laughs> Karin is like, no, don't drop that sugar cane, I could eat it. So, yeah, that's what happens. And I can't tame the turtles, which is annoying, because I wanted them to grow. But I just, I guess that the mo creatures that we have on the server does not yet support that. So, let's grab, grab the turtle and we'll pop her back in. Try not to suffocate her in the mud. And I still need to line this with invisible obsidian so they can't jump over. Though they sort of just tend to wander in the water and they like it in there. So that's fine. And I'll break this block because this shouldn't be there. Oops. And you may notice that I keep expanding. I keep finding more and more of this nice ore. So eventually this whole coastal area will be covered in it. Though it's been quite a while and this is all we found. So I may need to ask the other zoo crafters if they find any if they could kindly donate it and over here I've been doing a bit of work and I changed the shape of it and I actually quite like it it's like this little like I'm not sure what shape it is it's sort of like an arch but it's round and then at the bottom it's like got a little dip down and what we're going to do is we are going to add in the walls and I didn't bring any glass with me, that's the only thing that's going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, but these recessed areas here are going to be glass. And hopefully we can get this finished today. So that tomorrow we can add in our little dolphin that we have. And then I think we're going to go and give some gifts to Nerine tomorrow. And see if she's got a dolphin that she could possibly lend us. So that we can breed the dolphins and have a couple more in here. Two or three is... Uh, good for this size exhibit I think any more than that is going to get a bit crowded and I think it's going to be a bit cruel so that's what we're going to do now we're going to take away the walls and yeah as I said this is two sizes so this is a bit far down than this and I like it it gives it an interesting shape so you also notice that I lit up a few of the tunnels down here and they go on forever Oh my gosh, like, so much stuff is down here, I didn't realise. And we found many different things. This place is full of werewolves, and I think Alex may have had something to do that. And he also found a pet slime, which is absolutely adorable. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to clear this away, if I can get my tools. I seem to be a bit all over the place today, not sure why. Uh, this is the little way out, that's not going to be there in the exhibit of course. 
Though I probably will add a ladder just in case someone silly decides to fall in the exhibit. But we'll get rid of this and this stuff. I should have really done this yesterday or earlier before I start recording because breaking blocks well, filming breaking blocks is very tedious, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. And I was actually thinking of some other things that I could do on the server, and what I want to do is, I think I'm going to do like a little butterfly collecting side series where we go around hunting for butterflies and collecting many, many of the butterflies that are on the server, because look at them all, that is absolutely crazy. And to do that, we're going to have to build ourselves a little butterfly farm, a little butterfly area. And I'm not sure actually how you go around framing these trophies. Oh, so you have to kill the butterflies. Oh, uh, that's sad. But I think that'd be cool. And I think we might even have something like that. I've still got the memory garden to build. Oh, so much stuff to plan. Why am I planning more things to do? But yeah, I've got the memory garden to do, I've, I want to build this butterfly place, I've got this other project that I'm building, I've got a load of devincing furniture that I want to make to put in this place, and if you've watched Seri's videos, which I'm sure you will do, you'll know, you'll actually know what this project that I'm working on is, it's actually Mine, Mine Kia, the Minecraft version of Ikea, and I want to put a load of devincing furniture into it. Uh, it's getting dark, I'm going to have to sleep in a second. So I'm going to add that park bench that is up there that I showed you yesterday or the day before because there wasn't a video yesterday. And I'm going to add that dog kennel in as well and I want the other zoo crafters to maybe donate or make some furniture of their own that we can sell in the IKEA. And I think that would be really cool getting like a little community shop going where everyone can show off their custom devincing builds. And yeah, I think that would be cool. Cool to do. Okay, so... Gradually getting there. Yeah, almost there. There's all these interesting ores that I'm not sure of. And Katrina can't pick any more of them up because her inventory is full. And I think mine is two. So, which backpack am I putting everything in? It keeps changing. One moment it's this backpack, the other time it's this backpack. So, let's put them in all in here. I didn't quite realise how much cobble we get. And we're going to have to sleep because I don't want any zombies showing up while I am... Um, why can't I hop in? There we are. Don't want any zombies showing up while I am building because that is not going to be good. And yeah, Katrina, you're doing okay? Yeah. Might need to get you some more sugar. We might need to put you in charge of the sugar farm. Uh, got this to get rid of. Got this to get rid of. And then just this bit here. And I think that is that's ready. I think that's ready to add the little walls in. So I'm just gonna grab some food because I seem to be running low. I've got some blueberry juice that I was given by Mara yesterday. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this chisel and I'm gonna grab the marble out of my bag. I have quite a few stacks of it and hopefully that's going to be enough. We're going to use the chisel and we're going to turn it into marble bricks. Because I think that's going to be a good texture to use as the walls. So let's put all this down here. Oh yeah, we can't, can't move that. Okay, I'm just going to start by putting this down like this. And like that. And then we've got this little curve here, and it's a straight edge, and it goes to there, like that. And we've almost used a stack already, and we haven't even got anywhere. But that's, that's fine. There we are. <laughs> so that, that's where a stack got us. So maybe we do need some more marble after all. And I actually spent the morning collecting this. And I quarried it out of a little area over there by the mountain. Because I thought I didn't have much. Because I thought I gave it all to win before. But I keep stumbling across little 
little marble veins and I didn't quite realise how common it was. I wish the nice ore was as common as this, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, I don't want to waste these blocks either, so... We're going to put them like this. Uh, I'm going to get the cobblestone, put that there. And... We can do this, we can do this. And here as well. Yep. No. Is that right? Yeah. It's because I thought this this block was out of place, but no, that's right, because that's the step up. And down here. If I see any marble nearby, I'm going to grab it, because I think I need a bit more. Actually, we might be alright. I think we're going to be alright. Because we have this stack here. So let's turn this into marble bricks. And put those down there. And... Fill this in. Yeah, I think we're, we're alright. We've done it. Okay, we've just got these two blocks that I missed. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. Okay, so now what we've got to do is fill it in with water. Though, I'm not going to do that quite now because it's going to be a bit of a pain to do. I need to get myself out. So I'm going to build a little pillar here. And... I need to fill some of these blocks in with marble, though we won't have enough to do that, we definitely won't. And I need to go home and grab some glass to fill this in, so I think we're going to do that. And then I think we are going to work a bit more on the farm, we're going to clear it out, we're going to plant a load of cotton seeds in it, so that we can get string. So we'll go to my house, hopefully this doesn't crash. Gosh, it's so annoying. Every time I teleport to my house or somewhere using these teleporters, I don't know why. I think it's because they're so close, but it ends up making me crash. So what we're going to do now is, before I end the episode, is I'm going to harvest up all this wheat, every single thing that we have in this garden, and I'm going to replace it all with cotton. So let's clear some room, because there's a lot of stuff that's going to have to be picked up. I'm not going to put the tools in here. The tools don't go in this one. But we can put, put everything else in. And all this too. Actually, where did Katrina go? Did she teleport to us or did I leave her over at the coastal area? Not sure. I'm going to have to see. The dogs are still trying to escape. But yeah, let's harvest all this up. Smash all the wheat. This is already cotton. But it's fully grown. So we're going to have to grab that. And I didn't quite realise how much hard work this was. The Meijis definitely did need a break. It is fun though. I like breaking things. It's much less effort than building them. A oh my gosh, look how full I am. Okay, let's put everything in here, and our magical sorting system will take it all down to the cellar and put them in the relevant locations. And we're still not even halfway there. And I may need to empty this. Oh my gosh, gosh I do. I do need to empty that. Okay, and this over here. It looks so bare now. <laughs> I'm going to leave this wheat over here though. Oops. I th thought I just put a torch in there. Maybe I didn't. And we will grab this cotton by right clicking it. Okay. And I think we just turn this into seeds. Like this. And then I think these go straight down onto the soil. They do. And this will give us lots and lots of string. And I, I think that's going to be wonderful. So I'm going to go grab some more from the cellar. In the basement. 
Okay, so down here. Um, where would it be? There is a place over here that's called Wool and Cotton, but we don't have any in there. Do we have any cotton seeds over here? What do they look like again? No, I don't think we have any in there. We've got some cotton in here that we can turn into seeds. So we've got, wow, so many stacks. So let's turn this stack into cotton. I still don't think that's enough. Uh, do I have a hoe on me? Because, yeah, I've got a wooden hoe. So I can use these. Let's close the door. And all this cotton. All this cotton. And this over here as well. We might need to move the sprinkler because I don't think it reaches over here. I think that's why this dirt decided to revert back because it's not wet. It's not moist dirt. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is going to look awesome. Uh, where's the rest of it? We're going to have string forever. And then I can get rid of our little Spanish moss little area over there. Because it doesn't look very pretty there. It looks a bit messy. But I'll put this here like this. And it's getting dark. No. And I think, I think that's almost it. Just gonna put that there, and this here. Just basically fill in the gaps. Oops, that's an axe, that won't hoe the garden. That won't hoe the grass, rather. And let's start taking this stuff out. I'm going to put this in the in the hopper system as well, in the chest, in the sorting chest. And I hear zombies. And I see zombies on the minimap. Oh my gosh, so much of this. I didn't realise. How? Uh, no, Mr. Zombie, you are not welcome here. I don't have my... I do have my... I do have my scythe. So, farewell, zombie. Did that just drop its head? I think it might have done. And let's very quickly just do this part of the garden as well. Um, oh, I can't do that, can I? Because that's actually a carpenter's block, or carpenter's stairs rather. Oh no, the dirt is decaying already. Is that it? Is that, is that the garden done? Got these over here, but those are covered by Da Vinci. These we can do. Oh, my, my hoe broke. Okay, so we can't do any more. And I am going to end the episode here. So what I'm going to do off camera is just dig this teleporter elsewhere in my garden. Add the little uh, kennels. And I'm going to let the, the dogs roam around. I think that would be, that would be cool. I'm gonna make the Mimijis work again. They the the holidays over now I think. Blossom, Hazel, Aspen, Blossom again. And the other blossom. The three blossoms that we have. And there's one in here as well. This isn't blossom as well, is it? No, this is Ash. Ash, get out of the cupboard. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. The code for today is going to be... I have to think of something. It's always hard to think of animals that we haven't used already. Uh, I think we're going to have Yorkie, actually. We're going to have Yorkie. That's going to be the code for today. Yorkie. It'll be on screen. That's how you spell it. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.